Assalamualaikum and hi guys Welcome back to my channel um, Kali ni saya try shoot menggunakan S24 Ultra This is a pro video mode 24 frame per second Exposure 1 over 50 And I'm using this earbuds to monitor my audio That's the coolest part I guess Because previously I tak boleh monitor Can I ke sebenarnya? I rasa tak boleh kot Dengan during uh, Note 20 Ultra Tak boleh monitor audio while recording But Dia ada audio meter Dekat pro video punya screen tu It's just um, You can't hear yourself lah so you can you can just see the meter punya progress the, the level tu so i don't have anything i don't know what to talk about i'm stuck in traffic 7:21 pagi sekarang dekat sungai besi KL jalan sungai besi KL the traffic is slow moving but it's moving and this is every day memang macam ni every morning the good thing about the pro video ni is that we can we can adjust the gain level and also we can choose which mic kita nak pakai. So in this case, sekarang ni I'm using the front facing mic and I can adjust the gain level dekat sini supaya because because the phone is quite far from my sitting position. From the source, the source of the sound too It's quite far I'm talking Macam biasa I tak uh, apa? I did not really project my voice to the phone So yeah uh, So when I monitor my audio Yang I dengar sekarang ni pun is It's soft I start to move on it I dah increase the gate to Almost to the maximum does not clip audio nanti so I tengok dekat the meter tu dia tak merah TES TES ha, dia tak, tak sampai merah pun begitu so see I think I will adjust the TV ok this is uh, the, the jalan jam tadi tu dekat situ je dia akan heavy traffic dekat situ Lepas deck section Smooth And then until uh, Almost when uh, Dah nak sampai dekat Smart Tunnel punya junction tu Dia akan slow moving balik Dan the moment after Smart Tunnel Okay lah Tapi sekarang ni kadang-kadang Dalam Smart Tunnel tu sendiri Traffic tu siap berhenti lagi Kau saja banyak kenderaan lah So I think that the in the footage is quite good. Because sekarang ni kalau I tengok warna warna mana mana warna langit tu agak biru tapi dekat dalam tak sikit. But the details of the cloud is there. I can still see the cloud. It's not overexposed because I and I <coughs> the ISO yeah, I set is uh, an auto yeah ISO but I'm just charge it for the market and I'm going to get out of the chat around which is the love so welcome to Kuala Lumpur So tadi I ada buat test uh, time lapse dia ada features where it calls apa hyperlapse tu hyperlapse tu dia ada banyak mode lah yang you boleh set sama ada you nak ambil awan yang bergerak ke kan kita tengok kita tengok kalau dekat TV kan awan bergerak lah itu kan uh, ataupun uh, people walking the time lapse ataupun traffic and I tak I tak notice before this tapi yang this Dalam this phone dia ada features untuk Ambil gambar bintang-bintang di langit Time lapse I don't know how long does it take To do that, that time lapse I need to try one day 
cuma tadi I try ambil time lapse time lapse waktu malam dia setting dia 40 times 45 and apa dia untuk the traffic pada waktu malam kalau tengok tu dia rasa dia you punya adrenaline, adrenaline tu oh, oh, lain macam sebab dia macam laju so, 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 macam tu tau I will share the video nanti I can update Okay, video tu aku keluar dulu before this video lagi I think I, I nak try lah one day upload satu vlog without any editing so what you hear is what I should That's gonna be the raw footage Yeah, I I can upload Without any editing Why? Certainly because I can Second because I don't have time Third because I want to consistently Uploading my video For now I managed to upload On weekly basis So That's gonna be my mission Or my target for this year lah. For how long I don't know Let's just go with the flow Play by ears nah, Dia kat sini lah Nampak tak kat sini dia traffic dia slow balik I don't know kenapa dia slow balik As you can see nampak depan tu Merdeka Tower One day This is my my apa uh, my dream lah dream photo yang I nak ambil one day I akan ambil gambar whereby you akan nampak Merdeka Tower over there uh, KL Tower lepas tu KLCC Twin Towers and then the TRX The four buildings in one single landscape photo That's gonna be very nice I can see it in my head Cuma sekarang ni Need to cari masa yang sesuai Masa dan tempat yang sesuai To get what I picture in my head Allah We are about to enter smart tunnel Oh, nanti lepas ni I akan guna this re, I can try record guna uh, Wireless 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 apa? Wireless mic go to uh, I think Kalau I guna that one InsyaAllah the audio is gonna be a tip top Bukan tip top Tip top So we'll see Nak masuk smart tunnel Sekarang ni the reason kenapa I kena masuk smart tunnel Is because dekat depan tu Jalan look you ke tak silap Dekat dia tutup Satu uh, Jalan tu sekarang jadi satu lorong Bila turun nak naik ke jalan tu Razak tu dia jadi satu lorong Because the other side Of the road tu dia tengah buat I don't know what are these way But they are constructing something So Daripada dua lane jadi satu lane Sebab satu lane lagi dia guna For the income traffic So you guys macam mana dah nak puasa Ramadan ni Ramadan tiba Ramadan tiba Ramadan tiba Marhaban ya Ramadan Marhaban ya Ramadan Dah ready lah Can't wait Okay Now we are about to enter smart tunnel I'm gonna bring you along Previously I had a share video kan POV masuk smart tunnel But that's just Video of me driving through the smart tunnel So this time You will hear my voice Narrating what's happening When we are entering into smart tunnel Welcome to the smart tunnel I don't know what it Is there any other smarter tunnel than this tunnel? Or is this the smartest? 
I don't know. If you guys know, leave it in the comment below. So the cat sini, I I can gonna lend my R R F I D because I have the R F I D. And normally my R F I D in lending that I can share dengan smart tank. I think they can further improve the RFID ni lah Bukan slow sangat lah Bila nak masuk tu Tak kan nak bawa Below 30km per hour At least if you can maintain the speed at 60 That will be great Okay ladies and gentlemen We are about to enter the smartest tunnel in Malaysia Enjoy the ride So dalam tunnel ni Macam dia, I can't remember Berapa lah. kilometer lah Probably I, It will take me around 5 minutes And I don't know why people are Always on the right lane Sedangkan dia orang tak bawa Nombok lah hari Tapi dia boleh kan eh? They refuse Or they don't want to go to the road Tapi Bagi lah buah Orang nak lah Orang nak lah cepat Dia tak boleh kan eh? Tak apa pun Oh nanti I nak bagi tahu Dekat depan ni Dekat sebab tadi sekarang ni Dia boleh masuk terus TRX That's the first part Cuma you need to be aware That dia akan tersampai Satu section nanti Where you need to Kalau you nak masuk TRX Or you want to go to jalan terbazak You need to stay on the right lane Because dia ada letak divider Between right and left you are mid left lane and you sampai that divider I would suggest you don't stop or try to force yourself into the right lane because one is very dangerous they have to use a lot of surface of the road ni if I'm not mistaken is using simpan dia bukan pakai jalan tetap biasa so jalan tu dia tak even dia macam menggerut and you can feel it unless kalau you need more spoils ke empty mungkin tak rasa ni kot tapi in most of the car you will feel the the ride is not smooth lah bila you jalan tu you tak smooth this is where I check up yang dia akan pecah kepada two sex section satu jalan Sultan Ismail dan satu lagi KLC jalan Terbaza so if you want to go to Ikea jalan Sultan Ismail keep to the left if you want to go to jalan Terbaza KLC CTRX keep to the right tu ni nampak dia divider kat tengah tu oh TRX pun boleh juga pergi okay, kalau dia macam tu dia ok I can get Sebab depan ni nanti Dah kepecah lagi satu section Dia baru buka Untuk ke TRX 
sikit je kejap lah tu nampak tak dia ada a new section they open a new cabang dekat sini where you can go straight to the top up TRX I've never been to TRX okay. have you guys been to TRX take it in the comment below apa ada kat TRX lah yang I tahu ada Apple Store je tak juga experience sampai Hiking yang besar Apple Store ni So, how do you find the smart tunnel? The experience in the smart tunnel Is it okay? So, trust me Nobody, I attract Masuk lane pada kiri Because later on I akan masuk Perjalan Sky Sweet to park the car. That's where I park the car. Why Sky Sweet? Because uh, maximum the parking fee for the whole day is RM thirteen RM thirteen or thirteen fifteen. So uh, it's covered basement, and I think it's one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest, parking in KL. So what they can do that is it from the car park to the office and nowadays I'm trying to take a longer route because of the 10,000 steps per day so by taking the longer route at least on average I will dapat enough 7 to 8k per day or else it's always below 5k Can you hear the sound? I think it's coming from the car. So, when I switch off the car, we need to talk to But I don't know the source of the sound. Where does the sound come from? Okay, this is Jalan Eaton. Where it houses the rich and famous here. All right, I think that's about it. Thank you very much. Till then, bye.